Christopher Walsh here with just a minute. And over the years with Nick Saban, we have continually and constantly seen him adapt and adjust to, I, I don't want to say take advantage of the way college football rules have been changed and developed over the years, but no one's done it better than he has. And we're beginning to see another change in his philosophy, this time in recruiting. Now, you may have noticed on Tuesday that the Crimson Tide received a commitment from junior college interior linebacker Justin Jefferson. He's known for his speed and his versatility. He's not the only junior, play, junior college prospect that Alabama's after. There's a couple others. And when you kind of factor in all the changes that have been made because of the transfer portal, you see a clear trend that's beginning to, to develop. Now, Saban has, has obviously tried to get or has been successful in getting junior college prospects before. I mean, Terrence Cody, James Carpenter, Jesse Williams, uh, Daquan Menzi, uh, Quentin Dial. But it, it's been a while since since it's really been a priority for the Crimson Tide. Now, granted, the, uh, the tight end room, they just added somebody late in the recruiting class of 2022. But here's the thing is we're used to four-year players, five-year players. And when you f look at the transfer portal, you put that on top of, you know, guys leaving early from the NFL. It's more and more becoming about two and three years with players is, is really the only, the most that you get out of them. And we're seeing Alabama make that adjustment. It's it's there's more of an immediacy. There's more of a we have to have players for this season specifically, and it's quite honestly it's 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 less developing. Granted, still no one's better at it than Alabama in, in terms of development, but there's definitely a shift that's going on. And I don't want to say any of it really has to do with Saban's age. I think this is more just because of the way that college football is going right now. You got to win now. You, you got to take every single opportunity as you do. And for this year in particular, Alabama's probably got the best offensive player in college football in Bryce Young, best defensive player as well. Um, you know, once again, they're going for it, but that's nothing new with the Crimson Tide. For just a minute, I'm Christopher Walsh. Thank you so much for being here.